me for another day in our city of dreams. What's up everyone, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be talking about Cyberpunk 2077 and I have to start off with the video we're saying this game is absolutely amazing. If somehow you have not played it, please look about getting this game if you can get a discount most likely get it with phantom liberty because i'm going to be talking about a little bit of that dlc no spoilers but it is a fun dlc and if you are into like spies into the secret service and all of that good stuff i would highly recommend you get in the dlc all right guys let me talk about my experience with cyberpunk and i have to say like i first played it like two years ago in 2020 and i have to i have to be real it was a little bit buggy but it wasn't nothing that was like too crazy like at launch and i know at launch there was too much craziness i've seen too many clips of like cars just flying all over the city and npcs are literally gone crazy and like going in and out of like visibility and all of these things and going through walls and all of that but i have to say with the current state of cyberpunk it is in a fantastic place they finally nailed it i know it took them a long time to like like saw it all out after like two three years of release but i have to say they have done an excellent job and i'll be real out of any company a cd project red they are one of the best when it came to patching up the game because i'll be real if most other game companies had a game this buggy when it first come out it would still be this buggy 10 years later just to let everyone know that like this game is a huge game like imagine like having a combination of like everything that you can do in like fallout skyrim and also some stuff from like gta and some other big big titles and for them to have it in this world and the world to look as beautiful as it is the npcs are doing so much like literally like sometimes you'll just see npcs just attacking each other on a mad one And with the NPCs being so good at like combat and investigating around when you're doing stealth, it's so nice. Like the way you can just go around and they added the throwing knives, which is so good. Like you got all sorts of throwable weapons. I think you could also throw the axe as well. You got the katana gameplay, which is upgraded. It looks way better than before. They added more like you could deflect bullets, all of that good stuff. The movement in this game is so smooth. You can literally be running around, jumping around, like hanging on the edge of the building, like climbing up. You can really like have so many different types of builds. You can really go crazy with the movements. You can be super fast or you could just be like one of those tanky guys. Bruv, this game is so sick while you're hacking all sorts of things, confusing your guys like well confusing the enemies so they don't know where you are and i have noticed that they have added a lot more weapons a lot more smart weapons like the high precision weapons as well and those weapons are so much fun and if anyone is looking to craft their own weapons there is a few weapons that you can make that like are kind of game breaking like some there's certain guns that you can have that would instead of taking like current like bullets and stuff you could convert into like taking some of your eddies your currency so if you've got hundreds of thousands you've pretty much got hundreds of thousands of ammo and there's also like a grenade launcher pistol there's so many good ones so many fun weapons but i'll admit i was having a lot of fun with the throwable weapons it's so much fun 
All right, guys, I want to talk about the missions in Cyberpunk. And I have to say, the missions in this game is so much fun. Even the side missions, there's certain side missions that I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. I'm going to let you guys explore the game. That is a lot more fun than a lot of games, like main missions, honestly. It's so much more interactive. You can actually explore and get a lot more new weapons. Like actually doing the side missions actually helps quite a lot. It's not necessary for Cyberpunk, but it's always nice and nice added bonus but you do you do get to have all sorts of abilities of course you're going to get like more information and how to get more upgrades and all sorts of things like for your cyberware but yeah it's such a fun game like story wise like the story is so sick especially with uh, Keanu Reeves being one of the like one of the main characters that is there like implanted in you and it's so sick that they had like for one they had if they have three different beginnings you can start off with being uh what is it the corpo the nomad and the street kid and it's so fun that you actually have three different starts instead of the game starts the same no matter what pretty much like skyrim and it is so nice that you actually have like a bit more depth behind your character you can also like customize the hell out of your character as well so it's so sick but yeah, it's so interesting how they have like a construct of Johnny Silverhand in your in like in the chip that's in V's head. And it's so, so sick how like they're always having conversations and there's a lot of information from Silverhand's time that is very helpful to like V to like to like actually like take certain advantages of certain missions just because of the knowledge that Silverhand has like on certain side missions when it comes to certain old tech and i have to say the way keanu reeves played johnny silverhand it was a great performance and i also have to mention that i think this is the first time keanu reeves is doing something like this for a game and i can tell that when i saw some of his parts for liberty for phantom for phantom liberty it looks like he was getting a lot more comfortable. He's already, like, getting better at it. And keep in mind, guys, I won't be surprised if he does more big projects in the future. And I have to also say it was nice to see how Idris Elba was doing his role in the game as well. It's very nice. I'm not going to spoil anything. But, yeah, if you are a fan of Idris Elba and... Uh, let's say if you're used to maybe watching a show like Lufa and stuff like that, then I think you would like the story as well. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please smash like, please comment down below to help with the algorithm. And please tell me what was possibly some of your favorite things about Cyberpunk. And maybe if there was anything that you wish that they added in Cyberpunk that we never got. But yeah, guys, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you legends on the next one.